I've got a new machine for you. This one, this is the Matsura MAM 7252V. Uh, I'm going to talk to a man that knows all about it, Dominic Seminario. Dom, we've got a brand new machine here from Matsura. Can you tell us what it is? Well, as it says on, on the machine, Paul, it's a MAM 7252V. Obviously, it's an addition to our MAM series platform from the 35V. We now have, obviously, a big brother. Okay, now when you look at the MAM machines, they really are um, cells for, for not just production or not just volumes, but machines, that, spindles that just keep turning, aren't they? They are unmanned running, uh, lights out machining to give companies real return on investment and efficiency. Absolutely, everything about what we do within the Matsura range is about obviously, you know, doesn't necessarily need to be high volume, it can be very small numbers, but high variety and low call offs, but with a regular call off. So you can leave the tool set, the pallet set, the programs in the machine, and then, like I've always said in previous uh, videos that we've done, it's mm. a vending machine. Yeah. So obviously, the 52V now being a bigger version than our 32 pallet 35V, we now have a 15 pallet. 520 diameter by 400 high capacity machine. Now the MX520 was a machine that was launched some years ago, but you've had massive or well, tremendous success with that five axis solution. Is this something that those customers will go, do you know what, this looks like my ne next step? Absolutely, so if we go back on the 52 size, so when the MX520 first came to market, everybody loved it, they said, can we have a pallet changer? We made a four pallet changer. The four pallet changer, again, has been a success, but some of that customer base has said, it would be nice to have a few more pallets. So here it is, a 15 pallet version of a 520 size machine. And with more pallets, you need more tools? This machine has that too? Correct, so obviously on the MX platform, 90 tools has been obviously the maximum. We can have 330 tools, or if you really want, you can have 530 tools on this machine. Affordability, that's going to be the next one. People go, yeah, I want this, but you know, how, how do I kind of balance the books on it, what it's going to cost me compared to what I can make? Absolutely. So biggest, biggest, biggest um, target for the design team was to make the machine affordable to sell. OK, because, you know, with any machine, we can make the best machine in the world. But if it's too expensive, nobody can afford to buy it. So. Everyone knows those that have bought MAM 7235Es around the world, they know what that, the price of that machine is. Okay? 30 years of selling that platform. This machine isn't hundreds of thousands of pounds more. It's only tens of thousands of pounds more from a 35V. So if the 35V becomes that little bit too, too small to, to do those bigger components, you can now have the big brother for not a lot more. It isn't a lot more and you know, cost per month, we're talking a few hundred pounds more per month on your repayments. Now I know that the, uh, a massive part of our audience are small, medium-sized companies that maybe their workshops aren't uh, very big, maybe they don't have many spindles. They might look at something like this Dom and think this is out of their league, but that would be wrong, wouldn't it? It is, and it's a big thing that we still, even today, after all these years, still struggle with with the smaller companies. You know, the affordability of a Matsura is about what it will make per month for the cost it costs you per month. So when you actually can run a machine 24 seven, which a MAM 72 is designed to do, when you look at what it costs you per month in relation to what it costs in less overhead, manpower, and then the actual runtime, revenue, giving you a revenue of, I don't want to obviously mention over video, but you know, contact us and talk to us. The cost per month is a very, very small part of the what a machine will make you. So the affordability, if you have the work, especially in you know, lots of small subcontract shops here in the UK and around the world, do lots of variety changeovers all the time. So the OEE of that machine or their machines is very poor. So very low revenue earning. The whole thing about the MAM is it's very high revenue earning for the amount it costs you per month. There's the affordability, which a lot of our audience sometimes don't realize. And, and what I'd like to reach out to all the customers is that we're not as expensive as you think. We never have been, it's just that people don't look. 